Welcome back to Rated J Games, guys. Jay here as always, and today I just kind of want to rant about something. And it's not going to be too long or whatever. Uh, it's just something that hit me. And it should have hit me a long, long time ago. And I'm going to be talking about EA and BioWare. And I'm not really going to bitch about Anthem or anything. I, I still enjoy Anthem. But, I mean, I can see all the issues that Anthem is having with Bioware and EA and all that crap. But, Bioware made one of my favorite games of all time. And that game is Star Wars Knight of the Old Republic. EA pretty much owns Bioware. EA also has, like, exclusive rights to making Star Wars video games. And they decided to let DICE make, uh, what, uh, Battlefield Star Wars skin covered whatever. I mean, why have we not got another Knights of the Old Republic or something similar. Why have they not let Bioware take Star Wars and do their thing? I mean, Knights of the Old Republic is one of the best games that I think I've ever played. It had a great Star Wars story. It was it had a original Star Wars story. And EA, EA wants money, right? Like this is this is what EA and Bioware want, right? Money. And they they, they do still have the rights to Star Wars, right? I mean, you, you put you put two and two together, you you get off of Bioware's back, be like, here, make a Star Wars game, and. Let them do their thing again. And and that that would that would potentially bring in buckets of money. Like truckloads of money. Why hasn't this happened? Now I, I understand EA thinks that everybody is ready for just video games as a service, and all we want is multiplayer bullshit. That's untrue, because there's a lot of single player gamers out there, like myself. I know I play a lot of single player games, and I enjoy a lot of single player games, and I would damn right enjoy another Knights of the Old Republic, or something like it. But, I mean... Come on, Bioware! Come on, EA! We make this happen. And and EA, if you do, if you if if you ever if you ever let Bioware make another Knights of the Old Republic, let them take their time. As you can see, Russian the poor bastards puts out shit. Not saying Anthem is shit, but I mean it starting to look like a steaming pile. I, I mean, to me, that's logic. Star Wars brings money. You could label a steaming turd with the Star Wars logo and you'd bring in millions of dollars. We don't want that. You know, another single player game like Knights of the Old an RPG like Knights of the Old Republic would be awesome. Now, I understand, I know it might not be that easy, but EA and Bioware are like one thing now. And EA has the Star Wars license. Well, I... I don't know, but to me... I would throw money at the screen. Just take it. Take all you want. I want Knights of the Old Republic 3. That 
That would be awesome. But anyway, that, that's some food for thought. I mean, would you guys want to see Bioware helm another Knights of the Old Republic 3 as long as EA is giving them their space? And not rushing them like they did with Anthem. Because we all know EA wanted Anthem out. And Anthem released an unfinished broken game. No matter how many updates they have put out so far, it is still a broken game. I still get disconnected. Some menus don't work. There's still old text in a game that they should have taken out. But if EA gave Bioware the space and all the time they needed to make another KOTOR or something like it, would you want to see Star Wars back in the hands of Bioware? If so, comment down below. I would love to hear what you guys have to say. But that's it for me here. I just wanted to throw this out there. I know there's probably other stuff out, other people that have done stuff similar to this, but it really just hit me. It, it, it hit me hard, like a truck. So, uh, yeah. If you liked this video, then please hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so now. It would be really cool. But uh, anyway, see you guys in the next one.